Hello, you're watching Got Space Game, and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the Phantom, showing how to drop laser guided bombs using the Paid Spike targeting pod and the Target Find Release mode. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Put the display in TV mode. Set your desired release quantity and timing. I'm dropping two at a time here. Release mode to target find. Weapon selector to bombs. Select your pylons with LGBs on. Master arm on. Put your gun sight on air to ground and your reticle on 63 mils. We can drive the targeting pod from the pilot seat using the temporary Wizzo he binds. Press and release half action on the antenna hand control. Flashing range indicators mean that you can now use the antenna hand control to slew the targeting pod. Press the antenna hand control challenge button to zoom into a narrow field of view. Use the brightness and contrast knobs to get a good picture on the screen. When you fire the laser, the bottom range indicator will go solid. When the targeting pod gets a good lock, the top indicator will also go solid. This will also reduce any drift in the targeting pod. Press and release full action to fire the laser. Press the bomb button and use the HUD indications to line up on the target. Weapon ranging is given on the targeting pod display and the digital display. I'll let go of the bomb release once I'm lined up. Around 350 feet, press and hold bomb release once again. There's no contrast locking so slight drift is to be expected still. Don't worry about that too much until the bomb's off the rail. The bomb will release once the top range indicator meets the bottom one. Bombs away. Avoid harsh manoeuvring as the targeting pod will have trouble keeping up. If you need to turn away, it's best to go left. Alrighty, steering to next turn point is in. Use the slew controls to keep the pod on your target. The paved spike pod will point quite far backwards compared to other pods. Note that the image goes inverted when you do this. The tracking isn't perfect, so you do have to work to keep it lined up. Good effect. Press half action on the radar stick to recage the TGP. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Massive thanks to all my Kofi supporters, and if you found this video useful, please share it and subscribe to the channel for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite modules.